In this video, we're going to be talking about whether or not white belts should be competing in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournaments. Hey guys, it's Andre from Jiu Jitsu Junction, and today we're going to set up a framework for white belts to determine whether or not they should be competing in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournaments. The first thing to note is that white belts definitely can and do compete in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournaments. In fact, the white belt divisions are usually the largest divisions at the tournaments. However, that doesn't mean that every white belt should compete or should feel the need to compete at all. And that all comes down to the individual situation of that particular student. So let's make a basic framework on whether or not any individual white belt should be competing in a tournament. In my opinion, the most important thing to consider is whether or not getting injured at that tournament can put your career or your way of life in jeopardy. For most of us, including myself, Jiu-Jitsu is just a hobby, albeit somewhat of an obsessive hobby, at least in my case. It's very easy to get caught up in the excitement of competing and trying to prove yourself. But balancing the risks that come with Jiu-Jitsu is a very important thing to do. If you need your body at 100% in order to support yourself or your family, then the benefits that you would receive from competing in Jiu-Jitsu do not outweigh the increased chance of injury. It's a popular belief that if you don't battle test your jujitsu, then it isn't really worth much. But I don't think that this is really the whole picture. You can get almost all of the same benefits that you would get from competing just by having competition style roles with your established training partners. Your training partners will not be willing to hurt you in the same way that some stranger at a jiu-jitsu competition might. So if increasing your injury risk is something that really isn't acceptable or it can substantially negatively impact your life, I recommend that you take this kind of route instead of actually competing. If your line of work doesn't require your body to be operating at 100% and an injury probably wouldn't matter for you, then competing is definitely still an option for you although I don't really find that it's completely necessary. If you're finding value so far, do me a favor and smash that like button for me. Thank you. Now let's jump into the next thing to consider. You should not be competing in jiu-jitsu unless you have a basic understanding of jiu-jitsu. What I mean when I say that is that you understand basically the positional hierarchy, the rules at the competition that you're looking at competing in, as well as having at least two options that you can use in most of the common situations that you're going to find when you're rolling in jiu-jitsu. I think that having one or two options is really enough to keep you from getting completely stuck without any goal to work towards. Not only will you perform better at the tournament, you will also learn more at the tournament. And that's really what we're looking for if we're a white belt and we're competing. If you have this basic knowledge and technical ability, then go nuts, go compete if you want to but you should never feel pressured to do so because you can make plenty of progress without doing it. Now, let's move on to the next thing that we need to go over. In my opinion, you shouldn't be competing if you haven't gone past the freezing and panicking part of jiu-jitsu. This is really common in the beginning, and it's okay if you're struggling with this, but you don't need to be working through that while you're competing in a tournament. You have to get it under control before you go to a tournament because tournament intensity just feels different. And if you were freezing or panicking before, that intensity is going to make it very hard for you to keep a cool head. And if you freeze or panic in this setting, you just have more safety concerns. Waiting until you're more familiar and comfortable in jiu-jitsu before competing is a good idea. If you want to reduce your panicking and freezing more quickly, we did a video on the topic. I'll put it in the card above and in the description below if you want to speed this process up. Now let's transition over into a bonus little tidbit. If you are a white belt and you're considering competing, talk to your instructor first. It might seem really obvious that this should be happening, but you'd be surprised how many people neglect to take this course of action. Your instructors will likely be able to give you specific guidance and things you need to focus on because they've observed your jujitsu and understand your strengths 
and weaknesses. I've seen some people that are interested in competing talk to their instructors and get free guidance and specific training either after class or even during class with another student. That kind of specific training pays dividends. Now let's go over to something a little bit less obvious. Some schools have a policy in which they do not want you to compete unless you get it cleared by an instructor. Now I really don't believe that they have any business telling you what you should and shouldn't do with your time. But taking in this social consideration and letting it at least partially inform your decision making is a pretty good idea. Doing something against school rules can affect your personal training environment and your experience at the school. If your current school is the only decent jujitsu school in the area, you have to take this into consideration. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and smash that like button and I will see you in the next video.